What's going on, good people? What's going on? Welcome back to the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody, and I thank you so much for joining me today for the verse of the day. Now, today we want to talk about three things that you should do with your Bible that will lead you to spiritual success. All right, three things, super easy. I want you to grab hold to them, implement them in your life every day, and watch your life take off. All right. So this comes from Joshua chapter one, verse eight. You guys have probably heard this verse so many times. This is one that we used to say before we opened the word, open up the message at my church every single Sunday. It is a great verse to implement in your life every day. Joshua one, eight. And we're going to read the New Living Translation. And this is what it says. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. So you'll be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Three things. Three things. The first one, study. All right, study. You've got to study. But how often do I study? Continually. Okay, there's a difference between reading and reading. And study, and that's something I want us to gravitate to. I want us to to understand that studying means I commit myself more to this than just to gloss over and read it. Studying it means when I read something, I investigate further. I read into the commentary. I pray and I ask God to show me what that means. I listen attentively for when preachers are preaching on that topic, and it's something that I've already prayed about or something I've already read. I'm always digging deeper in that subject area. So study continually. The second thing you got to do is meditate. Meditate how often? Day and night. Now, meditation. Meditation we think is sitting in the corner. Not meditation. Okay, that's form of meditation. That's chanting, things of that nature. But meditation just means to think on this over and over. You ever had that song get stuck in your head and you didn't want that song in your head? Imagine if you can get the word of God stuck in your head, but you actually want it there. But more than being stuck in your head, you want it to be stuck in your heart. Okay? So study continually, meditate day and night, and then number three, obey. Obey what? Obey everything that you read and that you study. And if you do that, you will position yourself for success. Look at the last part of the verse. It says it beautifully. It says, only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So if you want to succeed in all you do, you're going to have to study continually, meditate day and night, and obey everything you read. All right, it's the verse of the day, good peeps. Pray that it blesses you. May God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life.